Hello WaveLab users, welcome to this tutorial DVD which aims at providing valuable information for absolute beginners, professional sound engineers, sound editors and students alike and will hopefully give you a source of inspiration in your daily work. Here you can see a glass master which is already nickel coated before being electroplated. Mastering objectives can be clearly defined as good aural transparency of the sound carrier. Even in random play mode, the listener should not feel the need to reach for the remote control. After you enter the dimensions of your room, the modes are shown three-dimensionally. Here you can see the freely scalable penguin window with the four main measuring devices. The adjacent picture shows the overloaded input signal and the resulting digital signal. The audio file may no longer be modified after the final dithering of the master to 16-bit format the last stage in audio editing. Here is a summary of the most important information about AES, EBU, and SPDIF. Always use high quality cables with the correct impedance in digital cable connections. The DC offset in this vocal recording can already clearly be recognized with the naked eye. This is not always the case. When the Find Zero Crossings function is activated, the audio track cannot be cut because no zero crossings are present. This can also happen in Cubase or Nuendo. This is not a bug and can quickly be remedied by using the Remove DC Offset function. I strongly recommend that you submit a protocol to the manufacturing plant or the client as it is the only basis of identification for the CD in production at certain stages of production. Also, if the beginning or end of a track could use a gentle denoising, it is very easy to select the soft intro section and to only process the denoising in the intro via the process in place command. Here I can remove a single S sound with the linear phased algorithmic CQ red.